Welcome to the archives of WWE, where we have over 10,000 artifacts that have been collected throughout time. This archive is over 100,000 square feet, and it's pretty much filled to the brim. We do have a professional archivist who makes sure that everything is categorized, organized, treated, restored, you know, with all the proper technology that's necessary. Come this way. You have uh, the Bella Twins and their ring gear. Two identical costumes for a pair of identical twins. This is actually the ring gear that they wore during WrestleMania 25. And, you know, they've been a huge part of WWE, just inducted into our Hall of Fame. They really are just remarkable human beings. And it's awesome to be able to catch, capture this piece of history. Here you have The Rock's championship belt, the Brahma Bull belt. Now, what's interesting about this is it's actually never seen the light of day. It's never been on television. I mean, this is really a premium, one-of-a-kind artifact. And uh, it was created during, you know, The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin's storyline. Austin, you want your belt? You take it to hell with you. And then Stone Cold had the, the smoking uh, skull belt. And then it was, well, should The Rock have his own championship belt? And of course, yes, this was created, lost in the mail, believe it or not. During those two weeks that it was lost, the decision was made to scrap the whole thing. How dare you? <laughs> and The Rock never got his own customized championship belt, but here it is. <laughs> and here you have John Cena from his thugonomics days when he was more of a bad guy or a heel in the parlance of our business. And he did this whole character. He sang his own song, produced his own song. It's Word Life. Word Life. This is uh, you know, he'd, he'd do this whole thing. He sort of had this character, and he, he wore this big master lock chain. The old man's got a plan. He's chilling in the building. Then I tell you I'm like light beer. I taste great, and I'm less feeling. But where it really started was actually on a plane ride back from the UK. And I found out that Cena could free flow, and he could just rap on the spot. And so I sort of put him to the test on that, and he was so impressive. And uh, that kind of is the backstory behind how the character really started. These are pictures of gorgeous George, who was one of the original flamboyant characters. Better be careful, Georgie. A long time ago, actually, Muhammad Ali, Bob Dylan, um, a few very famous people actually patterned themselves off of gorgeous George. Pretty remarkable, actually, when you think about it. This is The Rock's, for sure. And I remember uh, many times seeing The Rock up in the corner wearing one of these very fancy button-down shirts and getting stuck in it and having a very hard time getting out of the shirts. Ring bell from Madison Square Garden, you know, signaling, signaling the beginning or the end of, of any match. And let's get the verdict here. We have the Money in the Bank briefcase. The wrestling album, oh my goodness. You had my father from a very long time ago, Jesse Ventura, Mean Gene Okerl, and Randy Savage, Howard Finkel, I mean, you name it. Andre the Giant's boots. Andre the Giant! He actually, Andre had uh, broken his ankle at one point and he has a, a cast that was in my father's office, and when I was a little girl, I used to play in it, um, because even his ankle cast was like the size of, of my body when I was a little girl. Um, these are championship belt side plates for customization. This is the DX Invasion helmet. We were in the middle of the Monday Night Wars with Ted Turner and WCW at the time. Our funeral parlor. These are actually all of the caskets that have been used for various shoots or events or matches throughout The Undertaker's 30 year career. Oh my God, the dead has risen. He's either been in them or he has put people in them or he has shoveled dirt into them, you know, whatever, whatever the need was. Floor to ceiling of WWE memorabilia, unexpected treasures, and, uh, you know, I guess from, from beginning to end. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for this.
<laughs> I have a little head. <laughs>